Hello, this is Dr. Ann Jones here from the future. Just to give you a warning, we're about to get sex rated. All right, play the clip. We tend to think of giraffes as gentle and docile. But is there anything about their behaviours that might change that? What about their sexual behaviours? Are they as unique as the giraffes themselves? Ooh, we've got giraffe wee. Okay, oh, the face. Oh, he's done the face. I love the face. What you're seeing before you is a giraffe love story in real time. Because one way to ask a girl out on a date when you're a giraffe is by putting your nostrils into her wee. What you want to do is have a bit of a taste, have a bit of a smell, and he has this Fleming response where his lip curls up and he sort of like looks like he's frozen in ecstasy for a moment. And what it actually is, is a, an anatomical response, drawing all of the odors right back up into the nose, into the nasal passages, so he can sense whether the female is in yeastress and ready to mate. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens when a female isn't ready to be mounted. He'll follow her around for like hours sometimes, just consistently trying to give her messages that he wants to make. By tapping her back legs with his front legs and he'll even sit his head on her rump and around her rear end. It's like the giraffe equivalent of Tinder, she swiped left. If there's one thing that you want your early love endeavours to not be, it's filmed. <laughs> so yeah, this poor guy, I mean, he had a go, didn't he? Yeah, it's a bit rough laughing at him. She says laughing at him. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I mean, it looks like they're having a fight with pool noodles, right? But it's way more violent than that. They can actually use those ossicones, those sort of horny parts on the top of them, as weapons to harm each other. So these two males are having a bit of a neck sword fight because there's probably a female nearby. And when it comes to mating, there can only be one man who reigns supreme at one moment, and that's what they're fighting for. Only one of them gets the girl. They sort of act more like chains than swords because they're bendy and it's got a whip sort of reaction to it. Yeah, I mean, that just hurt my neck just doing that and I don't even have a giraffe neck. Oh, uh, oh, oh, she's saying hello. God, look how much bigger he is. So a male giraffe is significantly bigger than a female. He can be 1.5 times her entire weight. So when they actually mount, it's actually a pretty short act. In fact, even with all the preamble, it comes up and it builds to a sexual act of a matter of seconds. I mean, he's vigorously trying to mount her so vigorously that he's disturbed the picker bird that's sitting on his head while he's trying to have sex. Nature's weird. <laughs> Oh, he's got really bad aim. <laughs> I suppose he can't see what he's doing. Oh, that was closer. So she looks like she's into it. She's not running away. She's sort of presenting. She's moving her tail aside a little bit. And he's into it because he's got a massive erection. And uh, that's a love story right there. Scary. Why 2,000 kilograms of animal just coming at you? I think it's because of the scale of him that he looks as if he's running in slow motion, but he's not. He's running quite quickly. And in fact, they can run up to 60 kilometers an hour, which is really very fast. So this giraffe doesn't look like he's very happy. One of the likely explanations is that there is a female around that he doesn't want anyone else near. She's almost ready to mate and he's going to guard her. 
giraffes really are incredible creatures. It's like a kid drew them. I don't know how they actually exist. And they are incredibly docile in most circumstances. But when it comes to sexy times, and also when they've got children around, they can really mean business. If you like this video and you want to find out more amazing animal facts, then you should find my podcast. It's weekly and it's called What the Duck. Yes, you can find it on the ABC Listen app and also anywhere that you find your podcasts.